Then in this video, we're going to explore uh, gravity forms. I should probably do one video to talk about all the tools I use. <laughs> to show people, you know, I'm really using these tools to build the trust factor. Yeah, okay. Gravity forms. Why I use gravity forms and last time I do not use them, now I use them. Okay. Uh, Few few uh, very good reasons. Number one is because um, it's pretty customizable. Let's just talk about some settings which help with the conversion. Okay, so uh, first things first, if you have a, a button on the page, for example, mine, uh, which actually says on this. Oh, part two. Okay, for example, this button submit. Um, you want to improve conversion to use the word submit? Use what they want. Like Fletcher says, point A to point B. If they want to get the most out appointment, they want to improve their business. We will say something like, so submit. We will say something like, um, help me improve. Uh get better results you know uh, boost my conversions okay claim my free coaching call instead of submit okay so contact form 7 i don't think you can do that um okay so gravity forms allows me to do that that's one reason number two it's very very customizable it's just that i'm too lazy to bother to go and change the colors and stuff like that i, I don't care enough to do that uh, but you can yeah, essentially you, you can you can change the colors and stuff like that it's very customizable um so you can change the form to match your wordpress theme okay so uh that's for the conversion part um next is you want to do on the tracking so with this this column is actually hidden from the form for example this is just a preview it doesn't look this way uh, okay, so the first you will see is your name, but here the first information I'm collecting is not actually your name. I'm collecting uh, tracking. So this is going to be automatically added, embedded URL. So what URL is this form on? So if I have a funnel for Facebook, for YouTube, for Google Tags. Okay, I'll have three different landing pages. One is to go to Facebook, one go to YouTube, one go to Google. Okay, um, then I will know which where the lead came from. They came from whatever source. Sorry, what what page? What is the landing page? This conversion happened. Uh, referral means the page before this page. So you are essentially tracking two pages. Okay, so that's a very good, very important information for tracking because you know we need to know what is performing. Um. The next thing is you want to have, uh, you can do some, I mean, this form is smart as in you can make it think in a way. For example, anybody who picks, this is a very bad example. Uh, okay, let's just say this example. Uh, what is your business goal for the next six months? If they tick, oh no, uh, let's say this. Okay, let's use this example. Um, what's prompting you to do something about it now? If they pick business is losing money and need help, I know they are very desperate, so I can. If you want to, check out the price or send them to another page. So any those who pick this option, you can send them to page one. In those who pick this, you can send them to page two. Those who pick the options. Okay, one of the good ways is uh, you can ask them to select your budget. What's your budget uh, per month? Uh, advertising budget per month, zero to 200 dollars a month then uh, if they submit what well, after they fill out a form if the budget is too low i'll just say sorry um, <laughs> uh we, we 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 don't want to help poor people so something like that in, in a nicer way <laughs> and if they have medium budget they're like oh okay um yeah uh, it's a workable budget it's a realistic budget um but uh you might not be able like full ad agency service might not be suitable for you so why don't you take up 
just my course go and learn learn it and yeah if you have problem uh, if you are stuck then you buy uh, hourly co consultation coaching sessions okay then uh, those with a bit more budget we can sell them group, group coaching or they can or we can sell them private coaching okay so that's uh, how we can use this ad it's called conditional what's that called I can't remember what's that called Uh, conditional logic. Uh, it's basically okay. If uh, okay, if this they pick this, show them this page or do this page. So you, what you can do is you can use gravity forms to replace part of your um. You can replace it with a Q and a, a discovery call, but yeah. So yep, uh, that is the tool function. What other stuff did I type just now? I can't remember. Um, ah yeah. So, uh, as far as confirmation goes. Ah, notification. Sorry. Notification here. I do not send um the visitor, the person who filled the form, anything. Actually, I think I should. <laughs> Come think about it. Please tell me I have or oh, no. Okay, yeah, some work to do. So uh, let's feed back. Okay, so here I can um uh, specify where this uh, after somebody complete uh, fill out the form what type of email i'm going to send what type of information is going to be sent uh, in this case i'm just too lazy i'll just put everything okay um, but if you want to do an example we can do a short one so two emails will happen at the same time so let's just call this uh, email to visitor okay so we do not know what is the uh, visitor email so we select the email field problem solved enter email is you pick an email manually uh, configure routing I, I don't know what that is i don't use it okay from name uh okay oh i am with j from email from email I guess I want to test this out. Thanks for filling out the form. Oh, we want to make it back. Thanks for filling out the form. Um, point A to point B. Your business is one step closer to huge improvements one step closer to improve your service business check your email for the appointment One on one appointment. You receive a reminder one hour before the appointment. Okay. I don't even know what to type. Uh yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh Anyone who fills this out, they will receive an email. I should probably go test it out now, but I'm a bit tired. I might just want to take a short nap. <laughs> okay, so hope that clears things up. 